So a couple of things that we notice here is, first of all, we see that we have the product rule. Now, I am getting a little concerned. I'm seeing some people that are having a little issue just with this um, of 5 minus 3 to the x. Right? And just remember, guys, let's go over you know, d over dx of um, b raised to the u. Or what did I write in there? Uh, yeah, we have dx of yeah, b, yeah, d over dx of b2, where u is going to be a differentiable function. Remember, guys, the derivative of this was b to the u times ln of b times u prime, right? This was in your notes. I know it was a while ago, but that was in your notes last week. So in this example, if we're going to take the derivative here, we're going to have the original exponent, right, times the ln of the base, and then times that is going to be all times the derivative of our differentiable function as the power, which in this case is going to be negative 3. Okay, So you could put parentheses if you want to again, like around stuff. That's perfectly fine. Don't want to confuse like that. That's the ln of 5 you know, times negative 3. So it's better, again, to use parentheses than to not use parentheses. Um, so. Just make sure you guys have it, because once you guys have that, everything else is really not that bad. If we're going to apply the power rule here, or here, if we want to find dy dx, basically what we're doing is we're just looking, we're just using the product rule, right? And then you just need to obviously know the derivative. So if you get stuck or you're, you know, thing, just do it to the side. Do the work over to the side, therefore, that you can work on the one derivative that maybe is giving you trouble, because this isn't bad. That's not bad at all. The derivative of that is just 2. Then it's 5 times negative 3 to the x. OK, that wasn't bad at all. Plus 3 plus 2x, and then times, I'm just going to use parentheses and brackets, 5 to the negative 3x times ln of 5 times negative 3. OK? And then you guys could see on both of these terms, if we wanted to, you know, simplify, possibly what we could do is we could simplify out a uh, 5 minus 3 to the x. Uh, we'd have to distribute that, so that's probably not going to be as pretty. Let's just leave it. We'd just probably leave it as that. I mean, I don't really see you being doing distributive property um, across that, but you could. But does everybody see how we can get to that? Yes? No? 